What's up guys, it's Coco and today we are going to be having Wendy's breakfast. Alright guys, so I haven't really, I don't know if I tried Wendy's breakfast before, I think I did, but they do have the wedges now and I wanted to try it really bad. I tried Wendy's breakfast a long time ago because my go-to fast food breakfast is McDonald's, but I really wanted to try their breakfast again. These are the wedges, it looks really good. Pretty good. Needs a little bit more seasoning, but it's really good because it's probably it's fresh. I wanted to try three sandwiches. I made a, a hot honey breakfast sandwich too with. Hot honey chicken with bacon, cheese, an egg, and that looked good. Cheers, guys. Mm. It's hot honey. It's not really hot, but it can taste the honey, so it's like sweet. Reminds me of like maple syrup vibe for breakfast, you know? Mm. This is really good. The hot honey biscuit is on the menu for breakfast, but I don't like biscuits, so I did a regular bun. I added egg, cheese, and bacon. My mom loves bacon. She, anything that she gets, when we go out, it has to have bacon. I remember she would always get the Baconator of Wendy's because she loves that because it has a lot of bacon. Also, the fridge in our house probably has at least seven packs of bacon in the freezer because my mom just loves bacon so much. Got my nails done. It's matte black and I put my name, um, my mom's name here. You see? I got cold brew coffee. I don't think they gave me straw. This is really good. This is my concoction and I recommend it. So I go to Wendy's. Get the hot honey chicken. Add egg, cheese, and bacon. Anything fried chicken I love, so like. <gasps> I was thinking of getting McDonald's breakfast, but I love McDonald's breakfast. You can never go wrong with it, but I wish they have new things, you know. They have so limited like items. It's good, but it's like sometimes you just wish there's variety, more variety. They didn't give me a straw. This is iced coffee, by the way. going to work and it's Wednesday I'm supposedly not supposed to eat fast food but I 
for real felt like today like my mom wanted me con to continue filming right away I like to do the thing that I needed to do right away and just go hard on it like I can feel her pushing me to do my YouTube just don't stop her she calls me every night making sure I get home from work no nobody calls me let's try this I think this is the big meter this is the big meter so Baconator breakfast is bacon, egg, cheese, and the burger bun. And the burger. Let's see. Mmm. Pretty good. I would add extra cheese. Just kidding. This is the sausage, egg, and cheese. I thought it was a burger. <gasps> Their sausage patty looks like a burger too, does why? Mmm. Pretty good. They also have a distinct taste. Not bad. I don't know which one's good. McDonald's or this. But they're good. I cried enough already that now I can able to control my tears sometimes, but sometimes I still like can't, especially in the morning. I have this prayer, like a prayer book that my dad gave me from her, um, from my mom's um, stack of prayer books. And I've been praying that for her and for me and my dad and Mary. So God can be with us. And make us strong and The wedges are pretty good. But it's one of those things that you gotta make sure it's fresh. <sighs> Large iced coffee, no sugar, no anything. I just like my coffee. This is the sausage, egg, and cheese. It's pretty good. I have to be at work in like an hour. And I had a spare time. You guys haven't met Kitten, um, my mini, my new kitten. Mary named her. She's so sweet. She cuddles between me and Nick every night. That's how she sleeps. And then she wakes up in the middle of the night and scratches us in the face and the neck until like, cause she wants to play. Every night she would have like needs to wake us up to play with her. I'm like, no. <laughs> but she's so sweet.
every time I eat and I make food, and I see food, I think about my mom. Because every time I see her, I try to like, do something for her. Like, she loves fruits, like watermelons, or like, a lot of times that I would give her fruits, because I don't know how to I show her love by like you know showing I care like I got food a lot of you guys were so sweet Your guys' messages on my community tab. You guys, my subscribers. I read all of those and thank you. Um, really needed that comfort and the words that you guys said. So sweet. Thank you. And to all my friends and family, especially. Even my friends from the Philippines that I have probably haven't seen in 10 years or talked to in 10 years message me on Facebook. Like my high school friends in the Philippines who knew my mom. They probably knew my mom from for being too strict when I was in high school, but everybody loved her. She loved everybody. <clears throat> and yeah. I have some, I had a few friends who literally like, I didn't even, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, who wanted to visit me? Carrie wanted to visit me. She was my best friend when I got here and first moved here in Minnesota. We're not best friends anymore. We just don't hang out anymore, but we're still good friends. She wanted to like come over and bring us food. Me and Nick. And then Maggie, shout out to Maggie. She she dropped off like a bag of groceries on top of my car in my house, and she texted me. She's like, Lily, she dropped, she drove off. It's just so cute. She got me snacks, keto snacks. She knows me too well. Sugar free, I think, or very low sugar candies like chamomile tea those like stress reliever oils or whatever she got me cat toys and cat food and she got me a letter saying i'm here for you and it's i think that's just the sweetest like that's actually the it stands out to me because she's not even close to me but she got yeah. cared about what I'm going through I can't cry because I'm going to work yeah it was just so sweet I'm so touched try not to crack out of a mascara
Also, Wendy's breakfast is pretty good. I think we're sleeping on it. I think Burger King's breakfast is horrible. It's just like croissants, and I really don't like croissants. I don't care for it. I like those fries. Kind of fries, the wedges. My mom's gonna love this. Every time I eat them, or I see food, that's good. I was saying about my mom, was like, she's gonna love this. I wish I tried more food, you know? I wanted her to try more food. She loves to cook a lot of Filipino food. But she stick to like the same things when going to restaurants. Like rice and pork or bacon burger, bacon sandwiches. She did so much for me. The only thing that makes me cry is like I feel like I didn't do anything that much for her. Just wish we had more time, you know? you guys have you ever lost a loved one it's like the most painful thing I would say that you can feel as a human being probably the top one thing the most painful feeling that you can feel as a human being like it'd be the darkest thing that can ever happen to you like lost a loved one um, and that's the time they're gonna know who's really gonna be there for you. I'm like emotionally, spiritually, mentally, and physically depressed that I can barely even go to work. I gotta work. I gotta go to work. I can't just sit and not make money. I can't just like stay at home and cry. And I need to mourn, yes, but I can do that when I get home. I gotta make money. Um, yeah, it just showed me who, like, people who really cares about me, it showed, like, when my mom died. I know, and I appreciate everybody, like, all the good, nice words and, like, people are saying, like, they're gonna be here, do they need anything. I appreciate that. And not everybody knows. Even me, I don't know how to approach someone if they lost a loved one. I wouldn't know. All I know is I gotta give them a hug. Give them flowers. Comfort them. Mourn with them. It's funny because there's some people who are, like, when that happened on the weekend after that and they're like let's go to the bar like take it off your mind like put it on the side just don't think about it i'm like are you kidding me <laughs> if your mom died would you be able to go to a bar would you be in the mood or like 
I feel like that's just so disrespectful. And I get it. Like, some people don't know how to approach it. But I'm physically, again, mentally depressed. Like, I, I just want to be at peace with myself, with my memories with my mom. And, like, know who's there for me kind of thing. So, like, to those people who, like, came to me and mourned with me, thank you so much. Because that's what I needed. When somebody lost a loved one, like, that's what they needed. Like, your comfort and you mourn with them. You don't, like, you know, like, ask them to go clubbing or, like, go to a bar no you go to them comfort them more with them send flowers and now I learned that too because that's how I feel I would not know how to approach that too if that was me but that's how I feel I'm, I'm really really sad and unhappy like I could not do anything else but To prioritize who's really cared and I don't know what I'm saying but yeah you know what I mean like if your loved one or your parent died would you be able to like go to a bar and drink no you get a bottle you drink at home be with your family and loved ones and comfort each other and mourn and grieve and process things and think about the memory, the good memories. Um, I'm honestly not even that full. I finished two sandwiches and I have two of these. <laughs> Any potato my mom loves, that's why I was like. She would love this wedges from Wendy's. <sighs> 23 minutes a long ass video. I didn't open the bacon air. what my mom orders. This is the bacon area. I'm just gonna save it for later. You guys, Wendy's breakfast is pretty good. I remember it wasn't that good. Maybe it wasn't fresh, but I'm not a fan of croissants on fast food. I would probably eat a croissant when it's a really good bougie bakery but not when it's fast food because it's like come on clearly it's all butter and ah uh, not a real croissant i don't know but it's just weird when it's like fast food croissant it's like literally like trash but croissants need to be in a certain texture which is like flaky airy crisp outside and like super soft inside but when you get it on fast food it's just like mushy buttery shit <laughs> so all right guys i am tapping out i'm gonna be uploading more videos this weekend let me know what topics or discussions you want to talk about this weekend i gotta show you my pet mini um i still need to do a house tour i want to do a full video of Filipino food dedicated for my mom and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys on my next one bye guys